unless you have political parties and political... beauty of uh, parking on a bit of a slope. Just come down to the Ruahini Forest Park and we're going to climb, or actually walk, up to Sunrise Hut. A very steady, steady drive down, pack the van up. We're going to sleep here overnight and then get up at 3am to walk up. It's around about a two and a half, three hour walk to get to the top. And I want to be up there in time for sunrise. So that's the, that's the plan. I'll be walking in the dark. I've got a bit of daylight left. So I'm just gonna walk the first section. I've walked, I've done this track before, numerous times, but it's always this first little bit that can throw you, especially when it's gonna be dark. So when it does get dark, we'll jump out of the van, shoot a little bit of Astro. We're just coming into Milky Way hunting season. So hopefully we might be able to see the core. And more than that, we might be able to shoot the core. So I've had a good walk round. Just get myself up to speed with the track. It all seems pretty easy. I remember once you get past the first stage, it's just a zigzag all the way to the top. So the plan now, I'm gonna head back to the van, get the bag rigged up ready for tonight, this morning, early hours. Then we're gonna possibly shoot that mountain range over there. I think it's part of the Rohini range. And we're gonna get a few shots of that with the last light hitting the peaks. A bit of cloud on top with maybe a bit of color. So that, that should be pretty, pretty good. So for now guys, let's uh, head back to the van, start packing, get ready, get prepped. Perfect planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance, unless it's me, in which case it'll be a disaster. Ah, what a beautiful night. Absolutely stunning night. Just been outside, take a couple of shots of the, the far range over there, and it's got quite dark, moody clouds on it. The last bit of light on the, uh, on the tops there. The darker cloud, the lighter cloud, just over the top of the hills, and it looks glorious. I used the Nikon D3S, and I've coupled it with the Super Takamai 150mm f4 lens. I just, I just love this lens. It's light, it's compact, it's got the reach, but it's not got the weight. It's beautiful. Plenty of time for sunrise. It's absolutely bitter cold on the open tops, but this is what I want. This mountain range here is absolutely glorious. A little bit of dawn colour on there. What about maybe turning? What about maybe turning? Oh, I can't. I can't talk. My lips are frozen. Another ten minutes, we should be on sunrise. It's crystal clear. The cloud rolled in overnight. Didn't see the Milky Way. And then when I got maybe three quarters of the way up, I could see clear skies, I could see stars, but it just wasn't dark enough for the Milky Way. So I might, uh, I might try and shoot that tonight. Oh, but this morning, it's all about these mountain tops and all about the first light that's gonna hit them. Oh, so cold, so tired. So happy I'm here. <laughs>
After shooting the first light of day hitting the mountains, I decided to push on across the open tops over Armstrong Saddle to the top Marapia Hut. In total, I walked 19.5 kilometers, which took me around 11 hours with plenty of stops along the way.